hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vijay and I'm going to start a new series on SQL in this series we will deep dive into SQL and we'll learn the concepts from basic to advanced as you know SQL is very important nowadays and if you're dealing with data so it is very crucial to learn SQL so I was thinking to start the series and covers topics from basics to advanced and I will be using basically Microsoft SQL server to demonstrate the concepts so in this particular video we will talk about about database DBMS and what SQL is okay so before that what is database so database is nothing but a storage system that you can use to store data then you might ask then how is it different from other storage system we have like hard disk pen drive SSD etc okay so a database has some special characteristics okay so databases are basically maintained by something called DBMS which manages multiple database together so DBMS is nothing but an application or you can say it's an engine that manages the multiple database and their life cycle for example we have SQL Server MySQL post GRE SQL okay so these are applications that manages multiple database together then next one we have is that the data in database is usually organized in tables rows rows and columns which provides a structured and relational format to store information okay so if you look at my screen this is how data is stored in tables in form of rows and columns and also sometimes we have the relationship between the tables which maintains the integrity of data okay and we create these relationships using suppose foreign key constraint which we are going to see in the next video so here if you see I have two table one is a book and one is authors okay and in book table if you see I have this column that is author ID so this author ID is kind of a foreign key that is pointing to the author ID that is present in author table as a primary key okay so this is how we build a relation between two tables okay and nowadays we have databases where uh, we can store not only tables but we can store images videos and any other semi-structured data as well okay but mostly in this series we will be demonstrating the concept with relational data okay then next one we have is the query language that is SQL and the full form of uh, SQL is structured query language okay that helps to retrieve the data from these databases let's say if we have some data in our uh, Google Drive then first thing we do is to go to a Google Drive website and then uh, we go to that particular uh, folder and we can see the data there okay but in this case where we have data stored in database we need some way or we need some language to retrieve the information from database okay so that is what SQL provides okay so SQL is nothing but where we can write some queries to retrieve the data from our databases okay so these were the some of the characteristics of database and also we talked about a DBMS and SQL as well so if you like this video give thumbs up and also share this with your friends so in next video we are going to see how to create tables and how to build a relationship between two tables using foreign key constraint okay so let's meet in another video guys thank you